Have you ever had this scenario before? You're working on a video game and you have a very big prefab come in. And this prefab has multiple objects on it you want to work on. For instance, here we have the Stinty Space Asset Pack, and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to have a look at it. And we're working on this giant spaceship. Now, we're interested in the components on this spaceship, but it's been brought in as a prefab. There's the galactic carrier right here. And what prefabs do is when you want to select something on those prefabs, you actually have to select twice. So for instance, we have the turrets here. If I make a selection, I have to select twice before I get to the actual turret. And that's the same for any component on this particular ship. Now, some of you might say, well, two clicks, that's fine. But for me, if I'm doing a lot of work and I'm constantly working on this thing, I don't want to have to double click every time to get to that selection. Well, Unity gives us a great attribute to help us out in this scenario, and it's called the selection base attribute. And we can add this to our components to make them selectable with one click. So let's jump into Visual Studio and we'll look at the turret component. And this turret component has been applied to all those turrets you just saw. If I add the selection base attribute to this turret, which is a mono behavior, it will actually tell the game object that it should be prioritized as a selection above the prefab it's on. So we come back into Unity again. If I go to select the turret now, you'll notice it's a single click. I don't have to select twice. I could still select anything on the spaceship. For instance, this top part, I would still have to do the usual two selections, but you could put that selection base attribute on this one as well. Maybe this missile launcher deck actually wants to have that easy selection. So if you want to make it so that items within your prefab are selectable with one click rather than clicking twice, use the selection base attribute. 